It was a beautiful day across the state of South Carolina, but for the Columbia National Guard, they were preparing for a disaster. The scenario is we've got an earthquake. Uh, we're going to actually drop into an area that's isolated without any comms, and we're going to establish a satellite link. The drill is part of Coastal Watch 2012, a series of exercises to test the National Guard's response to emergency situations. Chief Warrant Officer Drennan said today they were using a new tactic. Our emergency comms is basically a ground-based solution, and what we're trying to do today is uh, employ it with an airlift capability. An airlift courtesy of three Chinook helicopters. Vehicles and computer equipment were loaded into the helicopters so they could be transported to Ridgeville, South Carolina. Once there, the National Guard would supply the area with data and internet capabilities to assist rescue units. Some first responders in the area that are just trying to uh, basically size up the situation. And we're there to provide them the comms that they may not have. At 10.30, the helicopters came to life, and at 11, they took off for their destination. The flight to Ridgeville would take less than 50 minutes, and once landed, the unload would begin. The troops performed a hot unload, in which they would remove the equipment for the Chinooks as quickly as possible while the blades were still spinning. Back in Columbia, Staff Sergeant Perry said the exercise was successful. The specific time that we were aiming for to be, get there, and we were on time with uh, delivery. And then once we offloaded, you know, we got every, everything off safely and effectively, and, um, and we moved on from there. So I thought it went extremely well. The Guard hopes that drills like the one today will leave them fully prepared for the real thing. Philip Weiss, Carolina News.